Because we are not blessed with different things in this life for us to have an attachment, to develop an attachment to that specific thing, all of these material goods, whether it's your health, your wealth, whatever it is. We're giving these things so we can sacrifice it and use it as a stepping stone in order to see closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why you see Imam Jafar al-Sadiq was he, when he was asked to define generosity, one of his companions, he came to him, he, he asked him, can you define generosity for me? Imam alayhi salam, he turned around, he asked him, he turned the question around and he told him, so how do you define generosity in your own tribe? He said, when we are given something, we are thankful. If not, we are patient. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi salam, he answered him, he said, Bila Tashbi, without comparing you to, na'udhu billah, dogs. But the dogs of a Medina, are they different than that? When they're giving something, they're thankful. And when, if not, they're patient, right? So the companion, he tells Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi salam, that's why we came to you. We wanted you to define generosity for us. Look how Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi salam, he defined generosity. He said, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he blesses us with a blessing, we sacrifice it for the sake of Allah. We sacrifice it for the sake of Allah. And if he doesn't bless us with a blessing, we are thankful. And dear brothers and sisters, let me ask you a question here. Do you know anybody who's exempted from actually sacrificing something? Whether you like it or not, you're going to sacrifice something. If you want to be parents, for example, you have to sacrifice time to raise your children. If you want to live, if you want to eat, you have to sacrifice money. Whether you're rich or poor, black or white, woman or a man, it doesn't make a difference. Sooner or later, you will be forced to sacrifice your health, your wealth, your time, your lives. So when we are given something, it's for us to use it as a stepping stone so we can sacrifice it in the, for self, our self-development. That's why we read in the month of Ramadan, one of the famous dua that we read, Allahumma ja'al mawti qatlan fi sabilik. The most precious thing we have in our lives, our lives, right? Make, make it a martyrdom on your path. The philosophy behind the concept of sacrificing something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is quite clear. Because that's the concept which separates the men from the boys, which separates the truthful from those who put forward a false claim about their faith.